Percival Rackham's first trial consists of a few fairly complex puzzles with a pretty tough boss fight at the end, which took me a couple of tents to be honest. So this video is going to show you how to complete Rackham's first trial in Hogwarts Legacy, and will also give you some combat tips for how to take down the final guardian. Once you've made short work of the goblins that are protecting the tower, you'll once again meet Percival Rackham to begin your first trial. After his dialogue is finished, you can now go and find the secret entrance, which is on the bottom floor of the tower. From here, the first part is really simple. To make the bridge appear, you just need to go down the steps to the left and investigate, then you'll be able to go back up and cross it. In the next room, there will be another bit of magic for you to investigate, which will open up a portal behind you, which again is nice and simple. This will take you to your first set of enemies, which are some pretty standard protectors and sentinels. And as you can see, this fella didn't stand a chance. I love that animation by the way, it's very very cool. Anyway, after you defeat them, you can go to the back of the room and find the first puzzle that you need to solve. This is where things get a little tricky, as you'll need to use your Accio spell to get around. But also, you need to navigate between two different dimensions of sorts. So firstly, use Accio to bring the platform to you, then use it again on the centre to take you there. Now you can go to the right and pull yourself onto this platform. On the floor here is some magic for you to investigate, which will unlock a portal in front of you. This also unlocks a pathway behind the door for you to now explore. What's confusing is that the room through the portal is seemingly a dead end, and only has a crate in which you can loot. So simply grab the item and then come back out. Now you can use the same platform to get behind the portal and carry on, after collecting all the items around this area of course. Behind here you're gonna have to fight some more statues, which aren't too difficult so you shouldn't have any problems. After they've been dealt with, you're faced with your second puzzle to complete, which as expected is a little harder than the first. What you need to do is go up the stairs on the right and investigate the magic on the floor at the top. Then pull the platform over to you and investigate the magic that appears on that. This will open up a portal below you which reveals the other half of the room that you're in. What you can now do is go through the archway from both sides and be in a different version of the room each time. It sounds complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it will all make sense. If you go through the back of the archway, the bridge in the room will actually disappear, allowing you to drag the platform to the other side of it. From here, you need to make sure that the platform is actually on the other side of the bridge, so the way I did this is by going up the stairs on the right again and dragging it towards me, then jumping on it and dragging myself over to this far corner. Once the platform is in place, go back through the portal from the front this time, and it will reveal the bridge again. Now go back up onto the bridge and drag the platform over to you. Then all that's left to do is drag yourself from the bridge to the exit. This will take you to your next challenge, which again is a group of pensive protectors and sentinels, which you should be very used to dealing with by now. Make quick work of these and move on to your final puzzle. This one took me a little while to figure out, but once you get it, it's actually really simple. Drag the platform over to this middle section here and climb down. Then look through the portal and use Accio to pull this other platform as close as you can. Now, drag the other platform back over to you and use it to hop through the portal onto the other one. This will allow you to then drag yourself all the way over to the exit on the other side. And now it's time for the big boss fight to end it all. If you follow the marker to this section, you'll be faced with another group of pensive protectors to take out, which seems fine at first until you actually defeat them all only to reveal the true boss. The pensive guardian is a much tankier opponent who has some pretty hard hitting attacks. What makes this fight a bit harder as well is that you need to alter how you fight him due to the nature of his offense. You can go ahead and hit him with all of your best spells, including your ancient magic, and it will do a lot of damage, but if he charges up an orb and you don't destroy it, there's no way of evading it. When you see him charging one of these up, it'll actually be a specific colour, so make sure to pay close attention to that. Whatever colour the orb is, correlates to what kind of spell you need to use to destroy it, so you need to have a good variety of them at your disposal, ready to use. As soon as he charges one of them up, use one of those specific spells, it doesn't matter which one, and it'll explode the orb in his face, not only causing damage to him, but also preventing you from being hit. So now you can block or evade all of his attacks, this fight becomes a lot easier. Just keep chipping away until he eventually falls, and that's actually the end of the first trial. You'll now have a long cutscene to sit through where you speak with Percival Rackham before you eventually return to your dorm room. If this video helped you out, then why not check out some of our other tutorials, I've even put one on screen for you to click through to now.